If it is, we may have to get the shovel out. Hello, Donna. Uh, yeah. There's, um... I don't think there are very many people who, who do much with it. There's a few. Um, Gamester for Life has some YouTube videos out that are really good. Um, and there are some other people. If you go to his channel, you can also see he's got, um, uh, what do you call it? He's got a, a list of similar channels, um, and there's a bunch of people there who do uh, some worm videos and stuff. So if you're looking for that, yeah, definitely head over there. Okay, so far so good with the cart. This area here is what I'm worried about. Of course, if I run into a creepy crawly up here, we're not going to be going very far anyway. There you go. <laughs> That's all right. Um, we've kind of done stuff before Gamesters gets his tutorial video out. Uh, of course, then I watch it and go, oh, oops. Um, but it's all good. Now there's a bunch of oleander out here, uh, which I could get sprouts from for hedges as well, but I believe these make the tall hedges. Um, like the ones you can't see over the top of. Um, what is that? That was a wolf. Um, but I want the, the, like, the medium size and the short, uh, which the lavender are the short. Dog? Dog. Oh boy, here we go. Here's a bunch of olive trees. Um... Not sure I want to go in the forest of olive. That's this little area here, I believe. Well, thank you. Oh, dear. Another horse. And a cow. Ah, here's a camellia bush. Okay, quick check before jumping off the horse. Bunch more bulls, some more horses. Okay. Should be okay. Uh, it does not show you where you are on the map. So you kind of have to look at your surroundings and uh, kind of figure out where you are. Uh, we started here. So I knew where we were when we were here. Uh, we went east to start the first settlement. We dug through the mine straight east. It came out over here. And then we've gone along this coast to about this point and then swam across. Uh, followed this coast down and then came in. And then by looking at the lay of the land and the water, we were able to figure out this is about where we are. Huh? Oh, Dad got out of the cart. Okay. I guess we could walk around a little bit. I am worried about stuff being out in that forest, though. Uh, Dad's here, so I guess he'll be okay. Uh, he's got armor on, at least. I, I still have no shoes. There's a nice big cedar tree out here. 
I'm really nervous about this um, because spiders apparently really like olive trees uh, and there's a lot here so I'm kind of kind of nervous oh hello dad's probably been out here already though uh, nope here's one Uh, this is our home server. Uh, so Shu runs it from his computer. Uh, if you are looking to play on a server with some other people, um, again, I recommend watching Gamester for Life's uh, YouTube videos. Uh, occasionally they do um, little contests that you guys could uh, participate in for a chance to join them on the server. Um, that's how Shu and I have managed to get on their server. We, uh, we participated in the baking contest, which was the last one. Um, so we get a chance to jump on there and help him out and um, rainstorm and the others and they're all really really nice so it's it's only been an hour kitty it's not time to stop yet to make a... I'm leading the horse here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope I'm leading the horse, otherwise I may lose it here. Dad's over there. Okay. Um, we need to make an oil... Is it an oil drum or an oil barrel? Um, oh, for all the olive oil uh, to put in town. I believe if you have one... Oh. Spotted a spider. Okay, I'm not going any further in, then I'll stay around the edge. Um, I believe if you have one, things like lamps and fireplaces and such uh, can be kept lit by the guards. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I may have misunderstood when I read, um, but we'll make one anyway because it would be a good idea. you out here. This looks good. I know that there's another uh, large um, olive tree grove over by Public Mine, too. Uh, so that would be a good place to go. But I do know that one has lots of spiders. I remember that being a big problem. Trying to keep an eye out while still uh, staying close to the edge. Uh, I'm leaving the sprouts on these ones. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm leaving the sprouts on these ones uh, because if you leave the sprouts, well, there's an old mountain lion. Um, I think eventually they replant themselves. Or not replant themselves, but they'll they'll drop the sprout and plant more trees. So I don't see um, I don't see any reason to pick them. Uh, we don't have anywhere else to grow them. This is a good place for them to continue growing. Uh, 
thank you for the follows, uh, Donna and Dark. Um, I appreciate it. And I apologize if I don't happen to... What was that? If I don't happen to see your... There's a wolf and a spider. Uh, where's dad? Uh, I apologize if I don't happen to see your, um, follows. Oh, there's another spider. Ahead of time. Uh, especially at this point when I'm looking around for, uh, things that are gonna sneak up on me. I'm not paying attention to chat or, um, twitch alerts. Like, I've honestly lost Dad. He's in here somewhere. Um, the fighting sounds like it's stopped, though. Uh, hopefully that means whatever he was fighting is dead and not he is dead. brown bear too. Um, okay. Dad! I know you're out here somewhere. Um, I'm going to head back to the cart. which means he's probably further in the forest uh, and there were two spiders and a brown bear in there um, so if you can hear me dad Hello, uh, how are you? oh never mind you found me there you are okay Phew. never mind then uh, let's see if I could drop these olives in here Wow, I'm blind. It's no wonder I get snuck up on by bears. I think it's getting dark, too. Yeah, sun's setting. That's right, we still have half an hour. Um, so, this is about the furthest I've gone. Uh, and that's because the last time I got to around this point, I was attacked by a hellhound. Uh, so I turned and headed home. Um, so I'm not sure what else is out here. Oh, other than that very large brown bear right there. And that's not one we can get away from by swimming. That one will follow us into the water. I learned that one the hard way, unfortunately. So yeah, skirting around the edge and then uh, dipping into the water to get away from it is not going to work. Um... Uh, maybe we should just go back home. Like I said, I'm not wearing any armor. Uh, if I was wearing armor as well, uh, then it might not be so bad. Um, but I'm worried he's going to take a huge chunk out of my rear end. Okay. We'll uh, we'll 
head this way. All right, let's head back home. Uh, yes, I have a bunch of cotton on me. Um, that bear's in this way. Good thing we left there when we did. Uh, I do have some cotton on me. I'm not worried about bandaging. I'm just worrying about uh, taking damage before I get a chance to uh, do anything. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. If this bear spots dad, then I guess we're going to be dealing with a bear anyway. Doesn't look like it, though. Uh, but yeah, you see what I mean? The the brown bears go out in the water. Black bears uh, should leave you alone. I might be able to outrun it while the cart passes. I suppose I could try. Um... But, like I said, it is getting kind of dark, so... Yeah, two bears. Two bears is bad. Two bears is bad. Um, so if, it, if it had been a wolf... Like this thing up here. No big deal. No big deal. Come here, you. Um... I'm not really worried about wolves. Uh, black bears are okay if there's one. Uh, brown bears, I'm still not. Um, I, I, they might be stronger than black bears. I'm not sure. They're bigger than black bears. I know that much. Uh, we'll just take you. Um, so they may be stronger than black bears. Yeah, we got a, a couple ships. You could see um, Dad's. A little sailboat from here. Um, and as soon as the other one comes into render distance, uh, you'll be able to see there is a caravel actually sitting just over here. Um, it's a little big for just a couple people to go out exploring, though. So, But it's good for loading stuff up and going from one settlement to the other. light my pumpkin. It's not much light, but hopefully it'll be enough. There it is. So yeah, there's the caravel. Uh-oh. Too steep. Okay. Leave Dad plans on making uh, one more ship. Um, he wants to make, I think the K is silent, uh, but I'm not sure. He wants to make the Nar, um, and it looks like a long Viking boat. Really nice. Um, but it hold, can hold quite a bit, like the Caravel does. Um, but it's got a shallower draft, so you don't need as much clearance underwater for it. So it's got a draft that's more like a rowboat, uh, but can hold like as much or close to a caravel. Um, and it looks cool too. There's that troll still. He hasn't come down yet, but he's getting closer. So we're just about back. Here's Dad's tent, which is probably just outside the perimeter. Oh, there he is.
I suppose we're close enough that I don't need to keep looking to see if he's if he's still following. Okay, so let's head over here. See, I've cleaned up the the town square. It looks much better. We don't have ropes and piles of things all over the place. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our carving knife. We're going to butcher, because I don't have a butcher knife yet, which I should make myself one. Uh, butcher the wolf. Okay. I uh, will take this stuff out. And we'll sell this to the token. <laughs> Except I'm too far away. Uh, try it again. And then I could take... Activate that. Thank you. And bandage. That one and that one. That's it. There he is. Lead. Okay. So animal stuff goes over here. Uh, so we've got uh, quite a few hides and furs. So once I get um, this building up here finished, I can move that over there. Very own storage. Uh, this one here and this here is mine. These are um, pretty much everybody's, like the whole town. Uh, Dad brought these over from the other um, settlement. This one, I've just been kind of putting fuel and leftover ash in for the uh, smithy here, which is not active. Okay. Alright, let's get you put away. I don't have a grooming brush on me, because Mufi has it. So I'll have to wait until she gets home to groom them. If she doesn't get a chance to get home uh, before she leaves for the weekend, uh, then I may have to just make another one for myself and take care of the animals while she's gone. Uh, but for now, there you go. Now, um, which one of these is already pregnant? This one, I think. Yes, delivering about nine. Okay, let's do this. Uh, lead you. Come here. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna say hello. Uh, and we're gonna see if we can breed these two. I'm too far away. I am not too far away. There we go. Okay. Um, so let's see. Uh, like I said, I've, I've pretty much finished with the lighthouse. I just need to get um, a lantern up there. Um, once we find some gold or copper, I can put um, a brazier up there, which would be uh, really nice. Um, and if we get it uh, improved high enough, it will... Uh, it'll be seen from quite far away. Ah, good. Examine. About eight. Okay. Let's bring you back over this way a little bit. Alright, so we should have two two baby horses in about um, a week and a half. I think. I think it's days, not weeks. Uh, if it's nine or eight weeks, uh, it's going to be a long time. Um, but what I was thinking of doing, and I wish I thought about this before, because now I have more work uh, to actually do, is taking... Hmm, I'd have to take two of these out, because I have to flatten this to do what I want. Uh, but maybe taking out this wall here, and this one here. Day equals week. Yeah. Okay, um, and building 
like a little guard tower type of thing. Uh, just maybe, maybe two stories doesn't have to be very tall. Um, so two full stories and then a floor with the stone parapets around the top. Uh, so you could stand in them and see out here. Um, and then get some lamps uh, on either side of the door. I have this pumpkin here who's probably out of fuel. Because he gets lit and then left. So fill him. Um, and light. There we go. He's kind of a placeholder until we get a lamp. And I took his friend over here, which is what's keeping my uh, myself lit here. Um, I w went ahead and put in the fountain. Uh, it's decorative, so it doesn't actually hold any water. It's just to kind of sit there, which is fine. Oh, nope, that thing's still up on the hill. Because uh, the water source is over here. Uh, would have been nice if it had been there, then it would be an actual fountain. But Yes, I know, the pumpkin is gone, because it's in my inventory. Um, Shu went and lit one of these pillars out here, so that's what that smoke is. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be like that. But yeah, if I decide to put in a couple little guard towers, I have to take out a couple of walls. Um, because I cannot adjust this dirt with a wall here. And then I would have to do the same here. Take this one out as well as this one, adjust the ground, put this one back, and build the tower. Uh, so that may be a project for later. Because <clears throat> I don't know how long it's going to take to get rid of these. They're only 16 quality, um, so hopefully they wouldn't do too much. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can make a catapult and have some fun with that. Um, more grass spreading again. Find my shovel. Okay, the main reason for these little woven fences, again, you can walk through them. Uh, they're just decoration and to help keep the farms marked out. Because uh, now that the grass spreads, it keeps spreading into the farm area. <clears throat> um, so there's the club. That's what I would have to use uh, to break those. I need water. Let's run up here to the well. Alright, Mom. We'll see you later. Have a good day. Alright. Um... We need lamps around town, too. It's very dark. So you could put one... <clears throat> Put one here. Um, hi. <laughs> and maybe on these corners here. Oh! Uh, what did we get for sprouts? I have two camellia wood in my bag. Let me go see if I've got a couple more in one of these uh, crates. Uh, yes, Mama Bear is actually my mom. Uh, pipe Fighter in the chat is Star Grunkle here, and he is actually my dad. Um, my husband plays, my daughter plays, my brother plays, uh, my husband fr husband's friend plays. Uh, so we've got a few people that play. Um, so Olive Wood can go in here. I only have one. I don't have enough. Uh, but I do have enough lavender. So take those. Let's put those in here. I need two more camellia to be able to plant anything. So let me show you guys this. Uh, 
Um, I don't have to go through the doors because the building isn't finished yet. Let me show you this. Um, do I want to start it here? Yeah, let's start it here. Okay, so I'll select one lavender wood, and I need to have at least five in my inventory. Um, I hope this doesn't have to be grass first. We'll find out. And then uh, you right-click on the tile border, select plant naturally, and now we have a cute little lavender hedge along the road here. It's passable, so you can walk through it like the woven fence, um, but it's decoration and it looks nice. Uh, and I learned about these over on Gamester and Rainstorm server. Um, they've got some of these around and it looks really good. Uh, so that's that's good. Um, where did dad go? There's his cart. There he is. Nope, that's a spirit templar. I don't know. I'll have to go find out. We'll see if he's got any camellia sprouts um, or any more lavender sprouts. Oh, he's right next to his cart. See, it's so dark, I can't even tell. Um, and of course, I put the rest of them away, so I don't even know how to spell it. Oh. Of course, if he's listening to the stream, then he already knows what I'm looking for. Let's see. Olive and cherry. Okay, those are good. I will put those away. Thank you! Alright, we'll put these in the thing. There's a few camellia bushes just outside of town. Um, I've been checking them for sprouts often, so I can always keep looking. We're going to need to find a nice place for an oak tree, um, possibly right across from the tavern or even down here. How many spaces do I have? Three. Do I have three? Do I have a nice little 3x3 three three here? I do have a nice little 3x3 three three here. That's good. I think what I'll do, though, is I'll fix the slope so it's just kind of a straight slope down. Um, with my shovel. So, we have 12, 10, 10. Okay. So if I do that along here, here, and here. Oh, except that would mess up this road. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. Let's do that. Let's put a bit oak tree right there. Uh, nope, not there. Take this one. Because we've already got, already got a willow up at the top of the hill over there. Um, so, oop. More trading. Oh, cool. Thank you. And it's made of oak, too, which is good for tools. That'll be good. So let's plant... I think it's good to have a, a three by three for these big ones, so uh, in center. There we go. And that's going to take some time, but that will eventually grow. We'll have a nice big oak tree uh, right next to our tavern. So I was thinking about putting it across from it, but I kind of want to be able to see the tavern uh, from, from the water. Um, five slope down, four slope down, that's flat. Okay, this little ridge right here, a little bit of lag, sorry. This little ridge right here, that uh, needs to come down at that point. Again, I want the, ta the tavern to be seen from the water. Um, I'd like to do like a little, 
shipyard or port. Um, but I don't know if we're going to do it over there because we're going to have another gate on the side of the wall. Um, if I could find it right there. Because there's a road that comes up past, not up there, but past, uh, past the garden over down to this place. So we could have another little gate there. Um, that's kind of where the caravels part. Uh, so it may be over in that area and you can come along the road and then the tavern there. Um, so we've got the oak planted. Let's go groom our new horse. Uh, meanwhile, I have to think of where else I want to plant things. I said the willow's up there. I'm going to need to make myself a fishing pole. Um, I got to looking at my skills today um, because I have yet to see what my affinity is um, because I guess you get like an affinity. And it is, oddly enough, fishing. Uh, I haven't done a single bit of fishing. I haven't even made a fishing rod, but my affinity is apparently fishing. So, um, I'll have to make myself a nice fishing rod and maybe go do that at some point. So let's groom the horses. I don't think my animal husbandry skill is up very high. Yeah, that did not work. Um, hopefully Mufi can get her skill up high enough soon that when she looks at these horses, come on, stop being difficult. Uh, should we be able to actually tell what their traits are? Um, there we go. Uh, because when I examine the horses, it just says uh, horses like this one have many uses. Um, and she's strong and has a good reserve of fat. That just means she's been sitting here eating like she's supposed to be. Uh, which is good because she's pregnant. We don't want her starving. Um, but... Once your animal husbandry skill is up high enough, I think you can actually see what sort of traits the horses have. Um, and they can have traits that make them stronger, uh, a better fighter, they could pull more in a cart, um, faster, or there's ones that make them uh, slower, stubborn, so it's harder to lead them or uh, do things with them. Um, those would be bad traits, of course. Uh, but we don't know what traits any of these have. Um, and you can also get horses that have several, uh, s like a few different speed traits, and I think they all stack. So you could get one that has three different of the speed traits and they would go faster than one that has one of the speed traits. Um, I think there's five total. Uh, if you head over to Gamester's videos, they just had um, a five speed uh, horse born a few days ago, I think actually. Um, and that's really, really good. I got a chance to ride a three-speed horse, and they're really quick. So I imagine a five-speed is going to be even more so, uh, especially if you put a saddle and horseshoes on them. Hi, Dad. Again. Um, did I show you guys how many eggs we have? Probably. We have 11 at the moment. This one is starting to take damage. Um, so we're just kind of leaving them on the ground to see if they will hatch. I don't see any more, but then again, they're hard to spot. Um, let's see, this grass pile is almost gone. There's just a little bit right there. I'll need to collect more grass later. You can groom the sheep uh, as well. You could groom the chickens. There might be a pair of scissors around so we could get wool from the sheep. Uh, that could head over to the tailor shop once we get some storage in there. Um, do we only have two? 
Yes, I think we only have two sheep. And this one... Well nourished. No, oh, she's not pregnant. Okay. Oh! If you're coming to groom that, sorry. Oh, go ahead. She didn't- she didn't groom. She, uh, she pulled away. Uh, so here's the ship transporter. Uh, you need one of these if you want to move these around on land. Even the caravel will sh fit on that little thing. It looks like a little rowboat once you get it on there. Or a sailboat, rather, but it will fit on there. Uh, here's where the other gate's going to be, but I need to do a little bit of work, I think, over here. This is kind of steep. Of course, I could just break all this and make the only way out over there, but I don't want to do that either. Um, but yeah, even that will fit on it. Uh, so what you can do is you can build your boat on land. You don't have to build it right next to the water. You can build it on land and then uh, hook up a couple animals to that, pick it up, and put it in. Uh, but you need to keep in mind that you need um, 23 in your body strength to be able to load it onto the transporter. Uh, which is something I keep forgetting in the beginning. Greenish yellow flowers. I don't have any of those. I do now. I hadn't seen those flowers before. I thought the blue and purple ones were more, uh, or at least uh, uncommon, because I find them less than I do the yellow and the orange red ones, uh, but I had not seen those before. Sounds cool. Okay, I'm unpacking these bits of dirt, uh, hoping the grass will cover them up. Um, that is a water source there, but we've got a well right here. I don't need another one there. Um, and what might go here, as long as it doesn't block the inn, or even back behind the blacksmith, uh, I'd like to plan out a warehouse. Um, and then we can go over here and pick up all these bulk storage bins and chests and uh, possibly even this stuff here. Whoa, camera. This stuff here and put it in a warehouse here uh, with, of course, nice big arches in the front and plenty of room to pull your carts in to load things or unload things um, and drive back out, of course. Um, it's going to take some flattening. I'm not sure how big I want to do it either. I want some space between the blacksmith and it. Uh, one space is okay. Three spaces would be ideal. Um, but that would not give me much room. So if I leave one space, one, two, th three, four, five. I'd be able to go five. Not six, because the farm is here. This road would need to come out one or two, even, and head there. So maybe not even five. Yeah, this may not be enough room. Well, it might be. It could be four wide and then just a bit longer. I'll have to fuss with that and see what I think. Or I could do it over here. There's plenty of room over here. Be right across from the tailor shop. That's not a bad idea. Wouldn't have to go very far to lug all the stone and stuff. This is probably actually better. There's more room. I'll do it here. All right, guys. It's 1:30, um, so I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here. Uh, I do thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you for the new follows. Hope to see you guys again next time. Uh, next stream should be Monday at the same time, unless, of course, something comes up. So until then, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.